Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm David. I'm an Englishman in the Balkans and I'm over 70 and I've been living here for over 25 years. Recently, I've got a question in the comments from a previous video and it seems to be as well that it's on the minds of lots of you that are watching this channel. What it costs to live in this part of the world. In other words, if you wanted to move, I don't know, from the country that you're in at the moment to come and live here. There are, of course, some pre-considerations. Are you able to stay for over 90 days on a tourist visa? Can you stay here and live here if you're married to a local? The simple answer to that one is you can. If you buy a property here, um, can you stay longer than a tourist visa? And as far as I'm aware, you can. But what does it cost to live here. And the question I got was, can somebody live comfortably of 5,000 US dollars a month in Bosnia? And is Bosnia a cheap place overall to live? In this video, the short video, I want to take a shallow dive. We're not doing a deep dive, a shallow dive into what life here really costs. Oh, and, at the, and in the description of this video, I'm going to put some links to some really good research that shows you the cost of bread, cheese, milk, rent, et cetera, et cetera. But we'll cover the broad brush now. OK, let's give some context to things. $5,000 a month in Bosnia would be considered a very generous budget by local standards. In fact, it's far above the national income here, totally honest. So it means you're going to have a very affordable lifestyle. So comparison, the average salary in Bosnia it's under $1,000 a month. That's the average salary. People do earn considerably more than that. And there are people, sadly, that less than that. But $1,000 a month is about average. So your $5,000, 5000 US or Canadian dollars, you'd have a significant amount of financial flexibility. Now, let's break all this down a little bit further for this shallow dive and start with the essentials. Rent here is very affordable, especially if you're outside of the capital, Sarajevo, which is the most expensive place. I'm living outside Bosnia's second city, which is Banja Luka. I don't live in the city there, but I live outside in, in a village, which is even <laughs> less expensive. So a comfortable one-bedroom apartment in the city centre can cost between $300 to $500 a month. That might be more, but I'm just saying this is pretty average, and check those links uh, in the description so you get an up-to-date evaluation, if you like, because the link I'm giving you is updated, I don't know, every two weeks. Rent here is very affordable, especially if you're outside of the capital, Sarajevo, or maybe Banja Luka, the second city. I live outside of Banja Luka, about 15, 20 kilometers away in a village, so the prices, once again, are even lower. But you can expect to get an apartment between $300 and $500 a month for a one bedroom. If you want something larger or in a more upscale neighborhood, you might look at $600 to $700. Of course, the more luxurious you want, same as anywhere else in the world, you're going to pay more. But there's a link, and I'll keep saying this in the description, to a web page that is updated, I think, every two weeks that gives you all the prices here bread, milk cars, mobile phones, utilities like electricity and garbage and stuff like that. So if you're really thinking about this, then check out that link. On to utilities. These are also quite reasonable. Monthly utility bills, including heating, electricity, water and internet, usually range from $100 to $150, depending on the season and the area. Once again, it's how much you consume and where you live, right? We find Heating for us can be a little bit pricey, but then I live on a pension, right? So I'm not working and I certainly don't get $5,000 uh, uh, a month. For groceries and dining, local pr produce here, there's a lot of it. It's abundant. There's videos on my channel. Check one out about going to the local markets. Food is really great and it is cheap. I would say really affordable. You could easily live on about $300 a month for groceries if you're cooking at home. Dining out is also very affordable. I think at the moment you can grab a coffee in a local coffee bar here for around a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty. And a meal at a mid-range restaurant can range from ten dollars 
uh, to twenty dollars. But once again, it depends on what sort of a lifestyle you want. But I think you can get a feel already that somebody with five thousand dollars is going to have a really comfortable lifestyle. I would say that for the United States to Bosnia and Herzegovina, the cost of living here is fifty percent of what you have in the States and maybe Europe too, because I've read some stats about Nuremberg in Germany and Bosnia-Herzegovina is definitely over 50% cheaper than there. So with a budget of $5,000 a month, you're likely to find yourself with plenty left over, especially after the basics. So I'll give you a few areas now where you might spend that extra budget. Let's look at entertainment and travel. Bosnia's central location in the Balkans makes it easy to travel to nearby countries. For example, we can be in Germany in under a day. We can be in Croatia in a number of hours, less than half a day to Montenegro and about six hours to Serbia. So we are very central. Bus travel here is exceedingly affordable, but most people do travel by car, but buses is the way to go if you don't want to travel in your own private car. Trains, don't really think about it. Train infrastructure here is very sporadic. A night out in a cinema or theatre will cost you about 5 to $10, and even a luxury hotel or guided tours will still leave you more than adequate within your budget. I would say at the moment you can get a really good hotel for €50, Euros, so what's that? Maybe about $40. So that's nothing compared to the United States or north of us in Europe. Now onto hobbies and lifestyle. If you're into outdoor activities, well, Bosnia is a paradise. Hiking, skiing, water sports, skydiving, the whole nine yards, it's here. And hiking routes to die for. So yeah, you're in the right place if you're into that. You can get a gym membership for about $20 to $30 a month. And other local clubs for various, various activities are either cheap or very low indeed. If you're looking now at healthcare, Medical costs are much lower compared to the United States and Western Europe, definitely lower than the United States. You should have private health cover anyway when you're here. If you're married to a local, then you can get access to state health care. You still have to pay uh, into that monthly, but you'll get excellent health care there. I've got a video about that in the channel. Just cruise back and look for that. But for example, for a private doctor's consultation for about 30 minutes. Yeah, it's 50 marks, which is about $25. That's impossible in the United States. And private health insurance is often very affordable. Tamara and I are very fortunate because we have a mixture of state health care and private. But I've had some private health care in it has not broken the bank at all and hasn't caused me at all to worry about whether I can afford it or not. Healthcare, very affordable, whether you buy insurance or whether you pay into the state system here. So I think you can see that Bosnia is certainly affordable compared to many Western countries, especially if you're earning and have savings in a strong currency like the dollar or the pound. However, the cost of living varies depending on where you live. Sarajevo, the capital, tends to be more expensive than the smaller cities or the rural areas. Banja Luka is cheaper than Sarajevo, and living here in a village is much, much uh, cheaper. But even then, you'll not find anything comparable in European capitals. You're going to pay a lot more. Now, one thing, and it's very important for you to keep in mind, is that while Bosnia is affordable, it's not cheap for everyone living here. Locals here earn local wages, and they are very budget conscious. But as a foreigner, as a stranat with a larger monthly bu budget, $5,000 is going to go a long way. I'm sure the people from Bosnia-Herzegovina who are watching this are going, what? They're still worried about the price of bread going up, the price of electricity going up, water, and other utilities. They're concerned about apartment prices going up, not only rental, but the astronomical prices by local standards of purchasing brand new apartments. But if you're thinking of moving from a Western country, from a European country here, you do not have those worries 
at all. You don't. So as I wrap this up, to answer that question again, yes, $5,000 a month is more than enough to live very comfortably here in Bosnia-Herzegovina. With that kind of budget, you're not only going to cover the essentials, but you'll also be able to enjoy a rich lifestyle. And I mean that in a nice way, not in an arrogant way at all. You'll be able to travel a lot. You'll be able to dine out a lot. And you'll be able to indulge in your hobbies and sports without a care, really. Bosnia, as I say, is an affordable and beautiful country. I hope you see that from the videos in the channel. And it makes it an attractive choice for people looking for both value and adventure. And I know a lot of people are moving from their existing countries, whether that's in Northern Europe or the United States and Canada, they're coming to Portugal, Spain and other places. I don't know, but I have this feeling that Bosnia and Herzegovina might be on the radar to do that soon. It does have a linguistic problem for many people, but you can learn another language, right? Or you can learn, like me, enough to get by. And maybe if immigration laws are relaxed a little bit, it will encourage more people to come in. Because from my point of view, the more foreigners come here to enjoy this, they bring their $5,000 a month or whatever, and that money's going into the economy through everyday living and investments and the rest of it. And everybody that lives here, local people at least, get to benefit from it. So finally, if you're considering making a move or you're just curious about life here, feel free to ask more questions, put them down in the comments. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Vidi Musa Opet, which means I'll see you soon.